Martin Nybaron here to show you how to use the Tilt Repeater. The Tilt Repeater is a new product from Baron Brew. It's designed to help people fermenting in stainless steel, whether it be a corny keg such as this, where I'm brewing it under pressure, or a larger, more commercial stainless steel conical that um, inherently is more difficult for the signal, the Bluetooth signal, to pass through. However, it will pass through uh, maybe a couple feet from the actual fermenter. So while this is great news, if you're trying to set up a logging station uh, such as this, and your wires aren't long enough, or you have a different area where you brew versus where you set up some of your logging devices or displays, you, um, you would benefit from using a repeater. So here it is. I'm just going to show you what it looks like. It's about the same size of our original tilt. Um, in fact, we use some of the same parts. You might recognize that. It's got a Bluetooth module on it with an open source uh, program that scans for Bluetooth signals and repeats them. And it's specific to the tilt. So it only repeats tilt um, signals, not all Bluetooth. Um, so to open it, to, or to start using it, you need to open it. So let's open. One cap, two caps are off now. I'm going to push this through. So I've removed it from the tube. There is a button, a black button right here that um, you can press. And what it, the way this works is, depending on the number of times you press, it will give you um, the color the right color that you want repeated. So if you, so in this case, I have an orange um, tilt in this peg, and as you can see here, these devices aren't picking it up; they're too far away. Uh, just to show you, um, if I move this iPhone, this is an iPhone XR. If I move this closer, there it is. There's the orange tilt. And when I move it back, it will connect after a couple minutes, disconnect after a few minutes because it's out of range. And as you can see, these devices still aren't picking it up. So this will solve that problem. So what I'm going to do first is now press this button five times as shown on the key. One, two, three, four, five. And, as you can see here, um, you now can see an orange tilt showing here as NAN and zero degrees. This is expected. When the tilt first turns on, it will advertise uh, zero SG and zero degrees Fahrenheit initially. That means you know that it's scanning for um, an orange tilt. Uh, you can see this is also a black one here. This this one is uh, no longer. This one will disconnect. This is this is because the black was number three, and so as I pass through three, it um, shut off an advertisement that the tilt pie picked up. Um, you don't need to worry about that. That's normal. Okay, so I'm going to replace the uh, battery assembly back in the tube. And I'm going to head over to my uh, fermenter, my pet fermenter, and place it. I just saw a green LED flash. So when you place the uh, repeater next to the fermenter, you should be looking for a green LED flash. That means that it's connected. It's um, picked up new data, and it's now repeating that data uh, advertising it so now it can reach these devices. So you can see here this orange is now transmitting from this keg to the Tilpi and Android and iOS devices. Okay, now just to give you an effect, I will turn these lights off and we'll show you what this green LED. So, 
And as you can see, this black one just disconnected, so don't need to worry about that. And um, there it goes again, another green LED. So every time this LED flashes, it will update the, um, the reading, if, if there is an update, if the, if the reading is changed. Okay, so now, in addition, there is a six month battery on this repeater, and what's nice is there's a charging port on the actual battery, so you simply connect a micro USB. This is the standard for a lot of older Android phones. Um, connect that, a couple hours later you're back, back starting new. And uh, there it is. It's available on our website, tilthydrometer.com.